yeah hi friends i'm back uh, with the new topic like in this topic we can set up like we can deployment on the ecs forget it is called as the blue green deployment so i have divided the task like the part one part two part three like this so you will be easily understand like how to deploy like how to perform the blue grid de deployment on the ecs forget so let's start uh, let's go to the ec2 console first so we have to create one ec2 instance and we have to perform all the prerequisite step on the ec2 node so he, you can see i'm on the ec2 console the aws console now so let me create one of the ec2 instance so here we go so so let's create uh, launch the instance so let's take the free tire and we can take as amazon linux so let's select it because we, we, uh, we don't want to uh, pay the money for the you know other instance so i'm taking the free tire and we can keep as it is the default uh, let's click on our storage and 8, 8 gb is sufficient so you can take uh, add it and you can click on next and if you want to add the tag you can add it like you can uh, add the name like the name equal to blue green so it would be easy to easily identify the ec2 instance and the security group group we have to add it definitely because it is required to uh, open for the inbound outbound so by default i'm uh, opening the 22 for the ssh and later if required we can open the other port and i have already the key but uh, for the demo i can create the new key pair so i can show you how to connect the ec2 instance from the port e. so let's uh, create the uh, key pair name as the blue uh, blue green and let's download it and the by default it will be downloaded in the dot pm format but in order to connect the from the porty we have to convert to dot uh, ppk format let me download it first then we can convert it so i will show you how to convert it using the putty chain right so let's download it first you can see the uh, blue green uh, dot pm the key pair is already downloaded it but i can't connect the dot pm key uh, through the putty so let me uh, generate the ppk file using this dot pm file let me launch the instance then we can convert that key to the ppk format oh it's not allowing me maybe it's some net internet issue so let me change it one second it is already downloaded so i can key, uh, click on the existing one then i have to accept it then i have to click on launch instance yeah here we go so there was some internet issue from my side so it was not allowing me and now you can see the ec2 is launched and uh, it will take some time to make up so in the meantime i will show you how to change the key format to, to the ppk format okay so let me go uh, to open the uh, putty chain yeah it is putty chain here yeah. this one yeah let me open it let load the key i have already downloaded the key pair that is in the different format dot pm format that is blue green dot pm we have already downloaded it let me click open it and load it and then we have to save it as a private key so when i try to save the private key you can see it will be asked you to, to save as a dot ppk format let me keep the same file and the same name but a different format you can see blue green private dot ppk okay the we have already uh, format and uh, changed the uh, key from the pm to ppk format now let me pick up uh, pick the like the public ip address so we can connect from the putty session
uh, let's enter my public IP of the EC2 instance and pick uh, we have to define here the, the path of the key and you can see I just can accept it is uh, connecting now let me click on accept and we have to enter the username that that is EC2 hyphen user by default it would be connect by the EC2 user and then we can uh, switch to the root user like the whatever the things we have to perform so we can do by the super user uh, which is the root user uh, so we can change to uh, super user and let me change the format so can you, you can see the font I have already changed, changed it so you can easily see the view of my EC2 instance whatever the commands I will run, I run so you can easily you can see that and uh, let me install all the pre-request uh, packages like we have to install docker and uh, git if you are using the amazon linux then by default you know you will get the docker repo and if you uh, go for any other in, uh, instance like uh, os like uh, centos or the ubuntu then accordingly you have to download the repo and you have to set up the docker so the uh, main motivation li like uh, we have to set up the pre-request package like the docker and git I will tell you what is the requirement for the docker docker is required to build the image and git is required to pull uh, you know clone the our uh, repository and yeah it is required uh, by default you know uh, it is a uh, cloud said in order to connect the uh, elastic container registry we have to we have to use the aws cli to uh, two points uh, you know more than uh, two version like it may be a uh, two point something so let me I can tell you how to download and how to set up the AWS CLI latest version. So you can see it is the latest version. The UI you can you can use this URL to uh, to set up the AWS CLI the latest version. And let's download this G file and after that we can unzip it and we can install it or you can update uh, the AWS CLI. It has been downloaded and uh, I have already extracted this uh, AWS CLI G file and let me update it. Yeah, it got updated. Uh, let me check the AWS version. Yeah, it is still showing 1.18. Maybe we have to switch to uh, super user or uh, root user again. Let me update it again and then I can uh, switch to root, uh, super user and you can check, check that. If still you are getting the you know uh, AWS CLI the old version, then make sure you have to update it and you, and you have to check whether it is two point uh, or latest or not. Eh? So you can see here the AWS CLI is showing two point seven version. So we have already installed all the pre-request uh, packages, and uh, in the next slide uh, I can tell you. Uh, how to perform the part two like uh, how to create the im user the im the role other uh, other things you can set up let open me im We can create those IAM role and the user in the next uh, in the next session and here just we can uh, validate whether the docker is docker version yeah docker version you can see docker has been installed AWS uh, CLI has, has been installed and the git, uh, git has been installed next uh, connect on the next session thank you